Hello and welcome back to Escape Simulator. We're doing the Sudoku Puzzle Cabinet. Now let's begin. Basic rules. Each row, column, and box of Sudoku must have the digits 1 to 9. Thermo Sudoku rules. Digits along the thermometer increase from the bulb end. Digits cannot repeat along the thermometer. XV Sudoku rules, or 10 and 5. Uh, cell separated by an X sums to 10. Cell separated by a V sums to 5. Not all 10s and 5s are given. There's examples like Thermo, 1, 2, 3, or 1, 2, 4, 7, 9. The bulb being the lowest, and then over here. Like this, sums to 10, sums to 5. Even though it's connected, it still sums to 10 over here. Tutorial and puzzle. Let's start with the tutorial. Okay, basic rules. Ready one through that. So they want us to solve boxes 2 and 3. So only these ones. Okay. Luckily, I won't lie, I did a different one earlier, which basically each room was the thing. Luckily, this one's all here, because otherwise it'd be a pain. But looking ready, the one cannot go here and here, so it has to go into this slot. The one here. Next. Let's see, the four. So here or here, the five. I got back up every time because I'm trying to get the glare out of it. Go on any of them. Uh, the six is limited to this corner because it can't go here. And this six blocks here. Six here. Seven. And then eight. Not going on top, so it has to go down there. Okay. Double check four five. Okay. Now let's go to the right side. Number four. Go on any of them. Number five. Can go on this side. Number eight. Go into any of these. However. 8 is in one of these, so 8 can't be here or here, so it's in one of these two. And number 9 cannot be in these, and it cannot be here, so 9 goes here. Okay, and like I said, 8 is in one of these, so it goes here. Each one of those. Uh, 4 and 5, well, there's a 5. Boom. Boom. 5's on the bottom. Here, uh, eight's not going to be helpful, so we got to go with the four. There's a four, boom, and then the eight. And everything worked, so now we got this. Let's see, thermo digits along the thermometer increase. Yep, solve one and four to proceed, which is these ones. Okay. So let's grab these. Okay. Two cannot be down here. It has to be on the thermometer. It's the lowest number I have, so it has to go here. The eight's here. The only number bigger than that is the nine. This row, I need a three and a seven. Yes, but there's, oh, there's a three here, so three has to go here, plus seven, eight, nine, there's still be two more here, so we can't do that. There we go, four, five, six, um, cannot be determined at the moment, so let's just drop these off, and then let's go ahead, grab the next set of numbers 
I like how it reversed in my hand. That's okay. So let's look at this big thermometer. Four, five, six, seven. Okay. But it could also be eight or nine. But because of this, the highest this can be is eight. So eight. This cannot be seven. So this can't be eight. Well, it could be eight still. So it can't be seven. So let's say it was six. Six, five, four. So that is what it is. Oops. This is four, five, six, and then this will be an eight. So it had a maximum or of what it could, be, or a minimum of what it could be. Okay, the nine can't be down here, so it has to be one of these two slots. Unfortunately, I cannot determine that yet. Um. Eight, your nose here, so it can't be here and it can't be here. Okay, so the eight has to be one of these two. The seven, not go here, but it could go in one of these two slots. Okay, the three cannot go here, and it cannot go here, so the three is determined. And I think that locks the 7. Yes, it does. 7 has to go there. Um, 2 and 1. If it goes here, it will be 2 then 1. But 2 cannot go in here. So 2 has to go here. 1 can only be at the beginning of the bulb. 9 at the end. 8 right here. Okay. We got two digits here, four and six, so five goes here. Six is right here, so boom, and the four. Okay, now we're doing the uh, tens and fives. Cell separated by an X is ten, five is V, solve seven, eight, nine. So it's the bottom row. As we said, okay, we need the pink ones. Reason being is because I want the number eight, wherever it is, place in the spot we know. All right, we also have the given three. And that needs to be 10, so we put the seven here, the one here. Guess what? That's a four. Now we need a one, two, and nine. Look at that, we got the one. I said we got the one. <laughs> I pressed number one instead. Whoops. Okay, and we got a two nine pair, which I'm sure will solve. Okay, next we got the green. Which is kind of weird. It's way over here. When next color over there. Don't like how it shuffled, but that's okay. So the V's, it's a 1, 4, or a 2, 3. And look at that, there's a 4 here. So this is a 2, 3 pair, which I cannot determine yet. I don't know why I dropped that, but... Another 2, 3. This is a 1, 4. Well, we got a 1. So, this is the 1. This is the 4. Okay. Got a... 10 here so this could be a 9 1 which there's one there so it can't be that a 2 8 well those two say this cannot be either a 3 7 which the seven's here but it could go here which means this would be 7 is 3 and then a 6 4 well 6 and 4 so Go ahead and drop this off. Drop it. Let it go. I don't like how sometimes it doesn't want. To, it just wants to keep grabbing it again. Like that, for instance, it wants to place it, and I didn't even tell it a place. I just told it to pick up. Okay. So, like I said, this has to be a 
seven three pair. Well, there's a three. I remember the other one, so that was there. This one's limited because it can't be a nine. It could be an eight. Cannot be a seven, cannot be a six. And you can't have a five five. So there has to be an eight in this and a two. Still do not have placed. So these two go here. Now we got five, which is limited to this row because it can't go here and it can't go in the middle. So it's up here or over here. Five is in this row or column, sorry. Uh, nine can't go here. So again, nine's part of this column. Four. Actually, let's look at the one. The one can't go in these rows, and the one can't go on this column, so it goes over here. The four has to go here because it can't go here. This already decided. Four can't go here, and it can't go there because of that four and that four. Okay, so we got a five nine pair, and we got a two eight pair. Well, now that I have this, can any of these be eliminated? Um, yes, the two, three. So this is the two. The three, that two, I can come back here and solve this. Great. And this two also solves this side. No, I said there. Very finicky. Okay, now we got these slots. Okay, the 8 can't go here, so 8 has to go in one of those two. And there's an 8 there, so that answers that. Goes right here. The 9, I'm trying to look at a distance, there it is. And the 5. That 5 solves over here. Boom. Okay. Congrats. That's the end of the tutorial. Feel free to finish the Sudoku to complete the map or try out the puzzling. Happy puzzling. So let's go ahead and finish this section. Okay. Hopefully it spreads out evenly. So how do I want to do this? Let's start here. This one is missing a 1. Okay, this one is missing a one as well. Okay, now those are the easiest ones to solve. Next would be this column because there's only two slots missing, which is two and eight. Well, there's an eight there, so this one. Two. This is the eight. And let's go ahead and finish the last set. Three, four, six. Well, there's four there, a four there, the middle one, a four. Uh, the three goes down here. Six over here. Now it's just the middle. Just uh, elimination. So like three in the middle. Uh, two those it's uh from that guy over here five cannot go there cannot go there um that one sees it so it goes here okay six middle uh hello seven pop and the eight here and it completes it however we're going to stay because there's now this room. I might separate it, so if you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thank you all for watching, and see you next time.